people and welcome to my channel. I am C2 Random. This is going to be some things that I learned in my 20s. So I'm gonna be 30. I'm about to be 30. I'm 29. I'm about to be 30 in a few more days. So I'm really, really excited. Shout out to all the Aquarians out there. Nice people are not always nice. The thing about when you're 20, you're really naive. You're really fresh into the world. So you're kind of at that that mindset that you really do believe that everybody is gonna do exactly what they say they're gonna do. People who push themselves off to be really, really nice are not. Uh, nine times out of 10, they have a hidden agenda, they have a motive, and they are looking at the fact that you are so young and you are naive. Um, watch out for that if you're in your 20s, especially, even if you're in your 30s or your 40s. Um, nice people are not always nice, so just be careful with that. There are a lot of people who are nice, genuinely, but you really kind of just still want to, like, be on guard at first. Pigging out, eating like garbage, eating crap all day, that is something that will definitely catch up to you, honey. It's going to catch up with you <laughs> eventually. I used to eat, like, a garbage truck. I used to pretty much eat anything that was in sight, any time of the day, and I just thought that I was invincible till I woke up one morning and I was so in pain. I believe I was like 25, maybe younger than that. I realized that I had really, really bad indigestion and that was coming from my gallbladder, which had a lot to do with birth control, but we are gonna get into that later. My gallbladder was just really clogged up, and if you don't know, your gallbladder is a part of your liver, and your liver is pretty much the um, organ of your body that flushes out the toxins. It's the organ of your body that promotes weight loss or weight gain. Your liver is really, really messed up. You're gonna be messed up. The skin is gonna look really bad. You're not gonna have a lot of energy. And after eating a lot, really bad, like really, really crappy foods over a course of time, my gallbladder and the, you know, use of birth control hormones, my gallbladder was not having it. So I had to really kind of correct my diet and watch what I was eating and just be more mindful about the things that I was putting into my body. And even then, at 25, I still really did not grasp onto the importance of really eating correctly. I still kind of ate bad, but you know, I, did, I, I messed it up for myself and I had to learn that the hard way, you guys. Like, you know, a lot of the things that happen to us like in our older years is because we really fail to take care of ourselves in our young years. So if I had known this earlier, I probably would be in a lot better shape health-wise. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am healthier than I was in my 20s and I am more aware, but you don't want to you, you don't want to learn the hard way. You don't want to set yourself up like that. So, let's talk about birth control. Birth control is the devil. Now, this is a disclaimer. I am not telling anybody to get off of birth control um or like if you're on birth control and it's working for you and you don't want to have any kids, this is not what I'm telling you, but I am telling you because I have had a terrible experience with birth control, as a lot of women have. And birth control is the devil. It's not a game. It's not a force to be reckoned with. I got on birth control when I was about 20. I think I was 20, and the first birth control I used was the Depo Vera shot. And let me tell you, the Depo is the worst kind of birth control that you can be on it is the cheapest um it's just it's so terrible it is not okay any kind of hormonal birth control is just really not good for you your body is not designed to have all of those artificial hormones in it now we know the side effects from having a lot of estrogen in your body um hair growth i had a lot of that a lot of abnormal hair growth I developed and I still have to deal with to this day. Weight gain, you know, moodiness, uh, infertility, loss of fertility. Those are really major things that as a woman, you really kind of need to protect. You need to protect your fertility. You need, to, you need to protect your mood. Your attitude determines your altitude. So if your mood is all messed up because you're all doped up on all these artificial hormones, Mm, 
something ain't gonna come out right. So um, my method of birth control, I am on the copper IUD Paragard. Um, I love it. I have had it in for, I've had it in for six months. I love it. I love that I don't have any problems with birth control. You will outgrow people. Outgrow, you will outgrow people. If you are still friends with the same person that you were friends with when you were 20 years old and y'all are now 30 years old or 40 years old, it is either because that person has grown with you, meaning that you guys have the same mindset or on the same level, or, you know, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's, that's really the only reason. And that could be a good or bad thing, you know, like if you're not progressing and you're not moving ahead and moving forward as a person as an individual um you will be that you will be ex you will be exactly that same person that you were when you were 20 so if you thought those if you were thinking about partying and going out to the club and drinking and smoking and having sex with everybody when you're 20 and you are still hanging out with those same people and they're still doing that nine times out of ten you're doing that and if you're not doing that you will outgrow them there's just no way around that outgrowing people is a great thing that is a way to know that you're growing because you can't take everybody with you. Everybody can't come with you to that next level of your life, especially when you're trying to do something and you're trying to grow and you're trying to own a business and you're trying to, you're trying to, um, you know, grow a family or whatever those things are like. You have to be around people that have those same values that you have in order for the relationship to, to sustain. I don't care if you have known this person since you were in your mama's and daddy's nut sacks and vaginas. I don't care if y'all have known each other that long. Like, if y'all came out of the womb together, even if that is your twin sibling, if that is somebody that is not trying to do what you're trying to do, they're not trying to go where you're trying to go, even if where you're trying to go is to the club, if they're not doing that, y'all are gonna outgrow each other. Y'all relationship is not going to be two peas in a pod. So stop trying to cling on to all of these relationships that you have, that you have outgrown years ago. If they're not willing to step up and change their mindset with you, then they don't need to go anywhere with you. They need to stay back there where they were at, you know? And if they want to come up, they want to come with you, then that's awesome, that's great. But you will outgrow people. You will, um, you will get out of that. You will, people will become toxic to you. And there will be times where not only will you outgrow them, but you really won't even talk to them anymore. You won't have any kind of need to talk to them any y'all don't have anything in common anymore what y'all gonna talk about the stars the moon the weather i mean after a certain point that kind of small talk gets very very old especially if you have had a relationship with that person so i mean i know for me i have i have definitely outgrown a lot of people to the point where i don't even really have that many close relationships i could probably count on one hand how many close relationships that i have and still have fingers left over so and I'm, I'm totally okay with that because that has shown me that i have gotten to a level where you know the mo most of the people that i used to be cool with and i used to hang out with are not at they're not at, they're not going that way and I don't even see half of them ever going in that direction. And it is not my responsibility to constantly motivate them and tell them and encourage them to do those things. So, and these don't even really have to necessarily be people that are, are your age. These could just be, you know, family members that you have outgrown, aunts, uncles, cousins, um, co-workers that you used to hang out with. It could just be anybody. It doesn't even have to be somebody that's 20 something or that you grew up with or that's your age. It could just be anybody from any walk of life, any age. You know, there are a lot of people who are 40 and 50 and 60 years old and they still have a really messed up mindset that you are totally developing out of. A lot of those people could be, you know, parents. I know I have definitely outgrown a lot of I don't, I'm not gonna say that I've outgrown my parents because I feel like my parents definitely play a role in who who I am and what kind of person I am today. 
but those values and those beliefs that they tried to instill in me as a child I totally outgrown that and our encounters with each other are very um, infrequent like I don't spend a lot of time around my parents because of that reason um, so yeah, you can outgrow people from any 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 background, any age. It doesn't matter, you know. If you're trying to go somewhere, you will outgrow people, and it's okay. Don't be trying to hold on to them. This is a a big thing that I struggle with: cleaning up, cleaning up your space, and making a schedule. Like this is totally my thing. Um, you know, I was kind of, I was the only child, so. I wasn't raised, I mean, I was raised with structure, but my parents were kind of like on the flow type of parents. So I kind of grew up that way and I didn't really kind of make structure in my life. I didn't really make a schedule and, you know, especially as I got out there on my own, I really kind of had that attitude like I'm grown, I can do what I want to do. I don't have to do that. But when your space is nasty, when you have clothes and stuff hanging out all over the floor and plates that have been in your room since 2010 and your underwear and your drawers are not clean and your dishes are nasty even if you don't have your own place you know that affects your productivity um you won't be as productive you won't feel as motivated to get things done every day i know a big thing that helped me was making my bed as soon as i got out of the bed that helped a lot that changed the game for me um because it kind of like my bed is the focal point of my room so I wanted to do that all over my house so I became a lot more productive and I really just started doing that like maybe two months ago so um, it makes a difference it makes a difference make a schedule have a to-do list every day um, that way you can stay on track and you can complete your goals and reach them more efficiently. You know, get the hard stuff done first. Just get up and do it. Put your phone down. It is not going to hurt you. If you do not know what Toya is wearing on Instagram, Tiny, or whoever it is that you follow that you are interested in trying to see what's going on, it don't matter. They're, they're doing what they got to do. You need to do what you got to do. That is not going to help you get to where you need to go. You, you really have to, like, be disciplined and be strict on yourself. And I think that's the biggest thing, like, y'all. Discipline is everything. It is everything. It matters. It matters. And um, I just think that the first step is making sure that your space is clean. Because that, that shows what kind of person you are. It determines how your day is going to be, um, how motivated you are. So clean up clean up y'all put them phones down um get off of instagram don't get married especially if you are in your younger 20s like you're like 20 21 you're under 25 um and i say this because i feel like maybe i should put a disclaimer out but i'm not going to because you know I'm going to speak and say what I want to say and say what's on my mind and my heart. But I do not recommend people getting married in their 20s. Because when you're 20, when you're in your 20s, your 20s is supposed to be the age where you are trying to build and grow and figure yourself out. So when you're in your 20s, you kind of really don't know who you are. You know, kind of like me. I'm only going to use my example and speak for myself in that instance because like even with starting YouTube I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was when I first started YouTube and I kind of changed over time and my interest grew and you know what I was interested in changed over time so I did not know what I wanted to do because I didn't know who I was and unless you're just like really in tune with yourself and you kind of just know what you want and it's never going to change, <laughs> which is very rare. I don't really feel like that is ever the case in a 20-year-old person's body, mind, life. Um, that's the only way I can see, you know, that kind of happening. When you're 20, you don't know what you want. You don't know who you are, so you kind of just... Um, 
you do it. Now, if you're in your late 20s and you're like 28, 29, and you know, you kind of like, you actually know what you want, you know who you are, um, then it's a little different. But even still, I think that you should take the time to date to really get to know this person a lot better because people do change and it, it's it, it just it's really sucky when you're in a marriage with someone and you're not happy because you have outgrown them you know what you thought you wanted when you were 21 when you're now 29 30 you don't want that anymore you're, you've outgrown that person and nine times out of ten, I'm speaking to my women, nine times out of ten, that man is not going to change with you. Like, unless he is, which there are some good men out there who really do make the effort to change and to grow with their individual or their spouses, unless they're willing to change with you, that's the only way I can see it happening. But if you're a 20 and you marry an idiot and you're just marrying him because that's what a whole bunch of people are telling you you should do and because y'all have been together since y'all were in high school so like now it's the next step don't do that don't do not do that that is probably like the biggest mistake that you could ever make as a young person in your early 20s you know your 20s are supposed to be for self-discovery for fun for traveling for excitement for um learning a lot of things about who you are you know and don't get me wrong if you are married i know i did got i got married really young i was 23 when i got married and if i had known what i knew now things would be a lot different you know don't get me wrong i love my husband we're still married to this day but it has taken a lot of damn work and it's not easy and that's something that most people don't want to do they don't want to do the work you know they're just looking at the whole glamour the whole symbolic part about being married you know the wedding and the ring and being able to you know just say my hubby and my wifey and make stupid shirts and put them on instagram and like that's the whole thing about marriage that people don't really 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 look at it's not about that it's about marriage marriage is hard marriage is the part where you don't want to get your ass like there are some days in marriage where you want to throw in the towel you just don't want to be married to that person anymore and especially if you have kids so it's like you're having to make really really um adult decisions really really young early off in your life and you don't even know what you want yet you don't even know who you are you haven't even established you know the likes and your desires yet so just be careful about getting married really young and really early in your 20s i know i have a cousin that is 19 years old she's about to graduate high school and she has a boyfriend they've been together for like two years i think and um she is supposed to be getting married and i'm very very disappointed because I don't feel like that it's a very good decision for her. I really feel like she's going to resent um, that decision, but it's her decision. It's something that she's got to learn on her own. You know, um, definitely don't get married and get pregnant like right off the bat. You know, like kind of just feel that whole situation out because if you do get married and you don't have any kids then you don't have to really and you do decide that you do want to like split it up and divorce I've made a mistake then you can do do something with that when you have kids and you're married it makes the whole situation really 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 complicated so just really really think about that just be more mindful I'm not telling anybody to not be in love and not have a relationship and all of that you know I'm all for that but that's a really big decision for a really young person to make and if you don't know what you're doing and you don't and you have any kind of doubt like you need to follow your intuition and your instinct with that the last thing i don't even know how many that was <laughs> the last thing that i think that is super important for you to learn in your 20s for you to do in your 20s is to read 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 and read like you need to read read and educate yourself especially if you are in the back in the black community i'm not bashing any other race or ethnicity or, or any of that 
but I have to speak for my people. You know, we have a problem with that. We don't like to self-educate. We simply just take people's word for it instead of actually doing our own research and reading. And reading will en encompass and it will break open so many different doorways that you never thought existed. It will open so many different worlds and you will think that alone will contribute to thinking in a totally different way. If you don't self-educate yourself, you're going to really, really be messed up. You're going to end up not in a good space. You're, you're going to be dumb. You know, you will die from lack of knowledge. And you need to always be trying to, to build yourself up, especially when you're in your 20s. Because that's the age where you have all the time in the world. You're really young. You know, your brain is really primed for learning. You really need to take that time to learn. And I'm not talking about college and, you know, traditional school. I'm talking about, like, going to the bookstore and finding some personal development books, things that are going to teach you about life, things are, that are going to teach you and open the door so that you can discover yourself and so that you can figure out what it is that you like in life. Because when you don't know yourself and know who you are, you're lost and you're unhappy. You don't know why. So, um, and, I'm, and I know that I was there. I was, I'm speaking from experience because I know these things, you know, y'all. Like, I was lost and now I'm found. You know, I read, I read the Bible. The Bible is everything. Pretty much the Bible is like all of the self-help books that you can ever read in one book. You know, like, that's where all of the self-help knowledge comes from. I read a lot of self-help, self-development books. Um, I'm beginning to discover a lot of things about my people, the black, um, you know, history and, like, what really went on and slavery and, you know, black economics is really kind of my thing now. Um, so I do a lot of reading. I'm trying to build um, a lot of intelligence within myself. I'm trying to work on being more emotionally intelligent. I am trying to become a lot more financially intelligent. I'm trying to do things that is going to build wealth for my family, my children. Um, so, and that in, it's going to inquire you, it's going to require you to read. Read. That's all I can say. Like, it's going to change the game for you. Um, so that is all, you guys. I hope you really, really got something from this video. Um, if you made it to the end, shout out to you. You are winning. You are already ahead of the game. Um, so share this with some people that are not really doing what they need to be doing in their 20s. And they still, you know, they want something and they're looking for something. Share this with people. Share this with your friends. Even if you're not 20, you know, like everybody, we all need to be mindful and more focused and just more aware of what's going on so that we can be our best us so we can be the best so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one and remember there is no change mm -mm. no change without challenge and i will see you guys on the next one peace